Hello again and welcome to another kit build. Looking forward to this one. It is a pair of glasses in there. Uh, what else we've got in this box? Instructions I would presume. Bag of LEDs. This is two little batteries inside here. Bag of components. The actual circuit board itself, which is in the shape of the glasses. And a screwdriver. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Put those bits in there. Right, let's have a closer look at this. So this is our circuit board. We've got LEDs this side and this side. Components in the middle for controlling it and at the either side, so here and here, is where the batteries go. And if you look just there, it does say 12 volts. So, let's have a quick look at this. It's got a bit of tape on it. So what we've got in here, that's easy enough to break it off. So these are 23 amp, 12 volt, mm -hmm. we've got 2.3 amp, yeah let's have a look, no, 23 amps what it says. 23 amp, 12 volt. So 12 volt batteries either side. Uh, let's have a look at the destructions. Okay, so the instructions are actually in English, which is good. And there's a link here for the website. I'll put a link down below for that. Gives you the circuit diagram here, um, and it's got some instructions around here as well, telling you where the components go, how to mount the switch. Uh, what else we've got? Oh, we've got a list of components at the bottom here as well. So we have a microphone just there. So I'm going to presume that the LEDs react to music or speech or something like that. Right, okay, let's have a look at what we've got down here then. Right, first of all, we've got some little screws. I'm just going to put the little screws back in the bag before I lose them. They must be for holding the circuit board in the plastic case. Right, okay, so what we've got. I've got the screws there. So we've got capacitors, resistors, and are they marked up? They're not marked up. Or oh, they are. 10, it says on it. Or oh, 1K, so that's okay, so they're marked up. So we've got couple of normal type capacitors, transistor, there's that little microphone, ceramic capacitor, battery holders, and that must be the, the, the IC or transfer, um, it might be an um, amplifier or something like that, I don't exactly know. I'm going to guess it's an IC for controlling it. Right, okay. Put the screw somewhere safe. That box to one side. I think we better start building this then, shall we? Right, I've got the circuit board in my little circuit board holder. I've also got uh, the piece of paper here with a list of components. Because on the main circuit board here, you've got um, R1, R2, R3, etc. Uh, but it doesn't give you the values 
of those. It does here, that says 10k, just spotted. So 10k, 10k, 2m, 10k, but those aren't our 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 aren't marked. But I'm going to guess they're the 1k ones, which are here, because that's the majority of them. And checking on the printout, yes, our 1, 2, our 5 is the 1k's. So now we know what they are, let's get them in first, shall we? Okay, let's got those in, and so let's do the 10Ks now. There should be three of those. And do these have, yeah, they have a, a 10 printed on them. So that's okay, so let's get the 10Ks in place. Right, that's got all those in. So while I'm here, I might as well finish off. So we've got the last one, which is the 2M resistor, and there's only one of those. Right, I think that's all the resistors done. So what we need to do now is solder it up. Right, that's all those done. They look okay. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to stick in the little transistor that's just at the side here. Um, and if you can look at the pattern on the circuit board and the shape of the transistor, uh, as long as you put it in the same, it should be fine. Okay, so that goes in there like that. We have a variable resistor. There's only one way to get these in. And they normally just click into place. This circuit board's a bit um, thin, so just be careful when, you, when you're doing these. Right. Just need a, a dab of solder just to hold this in place. Right, okay, what's next then? Uh, two capacitors, let's see if they're the same. Uh, so this is... ten uf and this one is... 10UF the same, so that's okay. So, long leg is positive, short leg is negative, and negative has got the shady bit on it just there which matches the shader bit on the circuit board as well. Now I have seen a picture of this and it is actually showing them with the capacitors laid down. So I'm going to do the same thing and lay the capacitors down. Okay, that's got them done. Right, so we also have a little ceramic capacitor, which we can pop in just here. And also while we're here, there's the microphone as well that we need to put on. Now let's have a quick look at this, because this has got, uh, yes, so, <clears throat> Let's see if I can show you this. So hopefully you can see this. You can see two legs. That's the ground this side and that's the plus that side 
which matches up to the plus on the circuit board. Right, let me see if I can get this the right way around then. So, excuse my big fingers all over the place. <laughs> Okay, so across the top, we've got this chip that needs to go on, and I've just realised, <laughs> done it again, I did this last time, um, I've accidentally soldered a hole up, have I done that, oh am I doing the resistors, right, <clears throat> let's see if I can do this without taking an age doing it. No, done it again like done before. You think you get it nice and clear, then it pops back in again. Right, as I was saying, this is our chip that goes on. Now, how do you know which way around it goes? Well, there's a clue by that sort of chamfering in that corner there on this on the circuit board and on the chip itself on this corner you can see it's slightly sort of cut in that corner can you see that all right just there that one is squared off and that one has got a cut on it just there so that signifies pin one So that will go on like so. Great. Let's got that done. You can see how waffy this board is, can't you? Right. Okay, so that's got that done. I think that is the main components. We've got the switch to put in here. We've got the battery holders to put in either side. But the main thing now is to put the LEDs in. So the LEDs. Are here. I don't actually know what colour they are, I'm going to presume they're white, but let's get one out and have a quick look. Long leg is a positive. Oh no, it's red. Right. So, <coughs> back on our circuit board. Back on our circuit board when it decides to focus. Right, got it to focus in the end. Okay, so we have got a long leg and a short leg. Long leg is the positive, so that goes in like so. And we can solder that in place. Right, I'm not going to um, sit and make you watch me do all those. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five each side, fifteen total. I shall pause the video and I shall come back to you in a moment. Right, that's all the LEDs done. Um, so, they're all done either side, um, clipped off all the legs as well. But before we go any further, um, my bench is looking a bit of a mess. I've got all the clippings off here and bits of plastic and stuff. So just give me a minute, I'm just going to clear my bench a bit. I'm not going to clear these because they're the important bits. Um, but let me just clear all this rubbish off um, and then we'll carry on. 
Right, that's better, isn't it? Now we can actually see what, what we're doing. Right, now then, there is a note in the instructions here that says, now uh, where is it? Right, uh, so please install the negative battery connector from the back. Please install the positive battery connector from the back. So, I think what they mean by that is that they've got to sit this side and we've got to solder this side. Now there's a negative and a plus there. So negative is the one with a springy bit on it. Now the positive is the one with not a springy bit on it. So I'm going to assume that that fits in something like that if I can see what I'm doing bring in the magnifying glass that might help right let's have a look so that sits in there like so yep that looks okay to me yeah, I can. Right. So we should be able to solder them up at the same time. Um, ba -ba -ba. I hid my solder. Right. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to guess we need a bit of heat on this because they're quite big, these connectors right before I solder the other leg I'm just going to make sure that they're straight now that one is not very straight it's kind of at an angle so let me just see if I can warm that up without burning my finger and just there do you see it move yep okay so that's that one done Negative looks okay, so we can now solder the other legs up. Okay, that's that side done, <coughs> and we're going to repeat that on the other side. Back in a moment. Right, we're getting there. So that's the um, battery connections done both sides. The springy bit goes on the ground. And the flat bit goes on the plus, so that's okay. So I think the only thing left to do now is the switch. Uh, so, <coughs> again, referring to our destruction. Sorry, that's the flickering of the, of the light again. Uh, so where's the switch, 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 switch. Okay, so the switch is there and it looks like that goes on the opposite side again i think so a switch should be installed from the back please space pay special attention to its insulation height ah right okay let's see if i can zoom in on this without it making it flash so it's making it flash okay so on the here look it's got a little gap between the switch and the circuit board so that's what it means by the heights so let's have a look at this then okay so we've got to make it stand off a little bit is what i assume it means So if we can see that, okay, so um, can we get that to focus, you can see that it's slightly standing off on the circuit board, but the pins are actually gone through, so I can solder it up. 
Okay, that's this switched on. I'm just double checking to make sure that we've got no bridges because that's quite a, a close soldering. Um, I think that's it. Right, before we do anything else, we've got a lot of flux at the back of this. Um, I'm not going to power it up just yet. Um, I'm just going to double check all the connections and clean off that bit of flux from the back there. Right, okay, so let's just get rid of those bits. I'll switch the soldering iron off because we will not need that anymore. Okay, let's get the batteries. Let's clean that off. Now these are quite weird, um, well, not weird, batteries are batteries, aren't they? Uh, but these are 12 volt batteries. Yeah, 23 amp, 12 volt. Okay, so the switch is currently off. Yeah, the that's the ground. And that's the plus. Now there is a red line around there and there's a black line around there. So there's a way of getting it the right way around. There's also a plus on the actual uh, label on there. Right, let's see if it works. Oh, something happened. Yes. One, two, 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 two. Yep, I'm oh, sorry, you never saw that, did you? So there we go, if I can tap the microphone there, look. And if I talk into it, two, two, two. There we go, you can see it lighting up. Oh, brilliant. That means it works. <gasps> I do like it, and something works first time. Right, that goes to one side. And next we have the actual glasses case. So let's have a look at this. So the first problem is, is how to get into it. Okay, so that must fit on there like so. Ah, right, now that, if you remember that switch had to be stood off slightly. So the switch hole is down there, so I'm going to guess that, that needs to go in first. Yes, yeah, so you need to just slide that switch in place first before you get the circuit board flat. Now there's all these little holes around the side and that's where these little screws come from. And yes, there was a very small screwdriver in the kit as well. Now I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass on this because these are quite small. Is it magnetised? No, it's not. Right, let's see if this little tool works. Where's my little... Uh, ah, there it is. Right. So I've got this little thing, demagnetizer and magnetizer. So let's see if this works. So we'll just put that in here. Right, how's that magnetised? Yes, it does. Right, okay. Ah, 
and we're done. So let's just fit the <coughs> battery in again, making sure we get it the right way around. I'm surprised there's no cover on this to go over the top, but uh, there is any. Okay, so that is working. There is a sensitivity pot, which is that one in the middle. Hmm, just slightly changing. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it in the middle um, for the time being. <whistles> Just cover the microphone. <whistles> Here we go. So that's working okay. Um, if you're going to a party or something like that, take one of these along with you, and uh, yeah, have a bit of fun. So. There you go, that's done, it works. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.